Venezuelan prosecutors arrest former vice president in crypto plot probe. Tim Alper last updated, April 10, 2024, 1930 EDT, 3 minute read. Venezuelan prosecutors say they have arrested former vice president Tarek El Isami, the alleged ringleader of a crypto plot to embezzle money from state oil sales. El Isami had been on the run from Venezuelan law enforcers for around a year after allegedly converting cash into cryptocurrencies. Prosecutors think El Isami and other senior government officials moved coins onto the Kraken crypto exchange after converting them elsewhere. Venezuelan prosecutors catch PDVSA crypto ringleader. The high-profile case has become known as the PDVSA crypto corruption incident in Venezuela. It saw President Nicolás Maduro's government raid dozens of government agencies and ministries last year. Petroleos de Venezuela S.A. PDVSA is the Venezuelan state-owned oil producer. The firm exports Venezuelan oil and has previously used crypto as a payment tool to help evade Washington-led sanctions. This reportedly led to the state accumulating a large stash of Bitcoin and Ethereum coins that it was allegedly unsure what to do with. The biggest crypto casualty in the crackdown was Sunacrypt National Superintendents of Crypt Assets, the state's crypto agency and the operator of the government-run oil-backed Petrocoin. Joslet Ramires, the former president of Sunacrypt, was arrested last year along with senior officials including the lawmaker Hubble Roa. Attorney General Tarek William Saab stated that Ali Sami, who was also the former Minister of Oil, was arrested along with the businessman Samark Lopez. The nation's former Minister of Economy, Simon Zerpa, was also arrested. Majuro's government thinks that the ministers and others stole billions of dollars. How much money in crypto did ex-ministers allegedly steal? Previous government statements indicate Caracas thinks it lost at least $3 billion in oil revenues and deals going back to 2018, and possibly beyond. Saab stated that Ali Sami, Lopez, and Serpa, along with 50 other defendants, operated a corruption network. Police have also arrested several military officers whose units had been ordered to mine crypt assets for the state. They have also arrested over a dozen PDVSA employees. Police have also charged several individuals who reportedly used state oil funds to pay for cosmetic surgery. Saab said that Ali Sami and his trusted men, Ramires and Roa, directly sold crude oil to international buyers. He said they then hid the proceeds from sales in crypto wallets without leaving a trace. Per Cryptonitishes, Saab added, they used shell companies and overseas cryptocurrency payments to do as they pleased with the funds. They did not let the central bank access the funds. Saab further claimed that Ali Sami and others speculated with the funds. He said they used unnamed intermediaries to convert cash to crypto. These coins were then transferred to the Kraken Exchange, the Attorney General said. This helped make the funds undetectable for supervisory bodies. The Attorney General's statement was significant, as the government has never before named any crypto firm in connection with the PDVSA crypto corruption incident. Venezuelan prosecutors stated that they intend to charge El Isami, Lopez, and Zerpa with treason and the misappropriation of public funds. Saab concluded that El Isami plotted to destroy the national economy and ruin the Fiat Bolivar. He said the plotters wanted to put pressure on other currencies and scupper the government's economic policies. Caracas officially pulled the plug on the Petro PTR on January 15 this year. The government has also ordered dozens of crypto mining firms and operations to stop, while Caracas has all but shelved its so-called crypto-economic model of financial growth. Follow us on Google News.